This exponential modeling problem is a little bit different because now instead of thinking about time passing and a population increasing or decreasing, we're thinking about a number of filters that water will pass through and the amount of pollutant that's left after a certain number of filters. So in essence, T will represent the number of filters this time. And that's the unusual thing about this problem. The problem statement says, polluted water is passed through a series of filters. Each filter removes 90% of the remaining impurities from the water. If you have 10 million particles of pollutant per gallon originally, how many filters would the water need to be passed through in order to reduce the pollutant to 500 particles per gallon? In other words, our initial population, quote unquote, is the 10 million particles per gallon. T is the number of filters that this water has passed through. And then P at T is the amount of pollutant left. after passing through that many filters. R, the growth rate or decay rate in this case, is 90%. And it's a decay rate, so it's dropping by 90%. Therefore, if we fill in the standard exponential model, P sub T will equal the original amount, 10 million, times one plus R, but R is negative 90%, so it'll be one minus 0.9, raised to the power of t. So that's our general model. And the question asks, how many filters will this water need to pass through to reduce the pollutant to 500 per gallon? In other words, what will t be in order for p sub t to be 500? So we'll let p sub t equal 500 and solve for t. And of course, to do that, we'll need to solve this exponential equation. So remember, to solve an exponential equation, we start by isolating the exponential part. So we'll need to divide by 10 million on both sides, and then rewrite it as a logarithmic equation. If we divide both sides by 10 million, we get 0 0.00005 equals 0 0.1 to the t. Then rewriting this as a logarithmic equation, we get log base 0 0.1 of 0 0.00005 equals t, and now we just need to evaluate this logarithm. To do that, we'll use the change of base formula on the calculator, log, log of 0 0.00005 divided by log of 0 0.1. t is 4.3. Now, you can't have 4.3 filters, you either have four or five. So what this says is after four filters, it wouldn't quite have reached the desired limit, but after five filters, it certainly would have. So the answer that we'll give is that five filters are needed in order to reduce this pollutant to the desired level.